What a win for Clarinda tonight as they beat Red Oak in five to move on and keep their season going. Taylor Cole, Jersey Knight, Addison Wagner, the Stars. Uh, ladies, this is a big win. Uh, fun match. What are your thoughts and takeaways from tonight? Uh, I'm so proud of us, and I'm so freaking happy. That was such a good game, and it was really close the whole time, and we came through, and I'm so proud. Yeah, I completely agree with what Taylor said. We just kept the energy. If we made an error, we just shuck it off, and all of us, like, we were swinging all night. We haven't beat Red Oak in a long time. I'm just glad I was here to finally do it with all of us. Taylor, for you being a senior, you know, you've played a lot of games against Red Oak. They've beaten up on you a lot over the last four years. To get a win like this, what does that mean? Oh, it feels so amazing. Like, it just, like, reminds me of how many times it's been so close to them and we haven't been able to pull through and this time we was able to, especially when, like, the end of the season was on the line. So it, it feels amazing. It looked like down the down the stretch in the fifth set, you guys were, were just determined. Uh, I mean, you were chasing ball after ball. There were a couple that you guys probably shouldn't have got that you did. You know, speak to just that desire. Uh, coach had a good point in the locker room. Everybody did their job. Like, we used everybody on the court. Not one person was picked on. Not one person, like, failed or anything. Like, we all did our job, and I'm so proud of everybody that worked together. What do you feel the difference was tonight between winning and losing? Um, all of our energy and our, like, work for it. Everybody wanted every point. Like, you could see it on all of us. We were determined to win. For you, coming in as a senior, knowing that, you know, any game could be your last, does it just make it feel different? Does it, does it maybe fuel the fire a little bit? Oh, it definitely does, but I'm just coming in, no nerves, nothing to lose. I mean, I'm going to leave it all on the court, and I know all my teammates are going to do the same. Jersey, early on, I know you had a couple of shots where maybe you were a little too anxious and, and just missed. How much of it for you tonight was just being able to settle in? Um, honestly, it was good to be able to get my serves over. Tonight it was more of just getting them over and not trying to serve for an ace, which is a little bit different approach that I normally take, but in games like this, like we need the points. So, Offensively for you tonight, where do you feel your success came from? Everywhere, honestly. Shout out to Emmy because she was freaking sending me the ball, and I was just getting it down in our back row. Like They were getting it up. We had a lot of hustle plays between like everyone. It was just really good to see. Addison, uh, you had a big night as well. Um, Postseason debut, and it's a strong performance. What was clicking? Honestly, everything today. I think so far our energy and our, especially this game, like we let hardly any balls drop, and we didn't do that at the beginning of the season. Yeah, defensively, this was a very masterful game on both sides. From your guys' end, what did you like defensively? What were you doing defensively? Hitting them on the line and in the middle for us. That's working. Defensively, Jersey, uh, what stood out to you? Um, all like all the hustle plays. We were all over the place all night, and I just kept swinging hard. They've got a pretty good block on my side, so I was just swinging through it and just swinging hard. Again, Taylor, you know, defensively, you were able to chase a lot of balls down. Um, definitely late. Speak to that. Um, I'm just trying to do what my job has been this whole season defensively. I've just been trying to do what I love, and that's defense. So that's really what I do. Fifth set, when you guys took the lead, there was no chance you were ever letting go of it, was there? Oh, no. I was not letting any ball hit the ground. And I know Presley and Maddie and everybody else in the back row was, like, felt the same way. For you, I know you've, you know you've been a contributor to this program for four years. There's been a lot of ups and downs. But right now, this has got to be as up as it's been, right? Oh, yeah. This is the best we've ever played, and I'm so proud of everyone on the team. With all the freshmen out there, we have like four out at the same time, and I'm so proud of Addie, Ellie, Kylie, Carson. They have stepped up so well. On to Van Nieder now, Wednesday night. Uh, what's it going to take? Um, hustle, like we had tonight, and just placing the ball and being smart, keeping it on the court, limiting errors. All right, Coach. Uh, wow. What a win tonight to, to beat Red Oak and to keep your season going. Just where are the thoughts at the moment? Um, I'm just super excited for our team. It's been a very long time since we beat Red Oak, and there's no better time to do it than postseason. So I'm super happy for them. Ten years is what it had been. Uh, is this like a, a program or a culture building win? I know the, the foundation has already been set, but to do it now with this group, what does that say? Um, it means a lot to the girls because we've had our ups and downs this year. And every set that we won tonight, we came from behind by a certain amount of points, and they were the first ones to realize it. They realized it before me because that's been such a big goal just to finish a game and to stay in it. They had a big run to end the fourth set and keep us going, and they started strong in the fifth set. Uh, but, but you know your team better than anybody. Was there ever a doubt going to the fifth set? I mean, we were definitely nervous, as we should have been. Red Oak's a great team, but... Um, 
we worked really hard this week on just hitting different spots. So, like, props to our defense for telling our hitters where to go with the ball because they were listening, they were watching, and our hitters were hitting those spots. Fifth set, what stood out to you? Where do you feel this game was won? Oh, I don't think there's one thing. I think we just really put everything together tonight. Our defense struggled at first a little bit, um, but we started to get the hang of it. Our serving was great. Um, we only missed six serves on the night in five sets, and that is really, really good for us. Um, and our offense was great, so I'm not disappointed in anything. I think everybody played a really huge role in this win. Elaborate more on the offense. Uh, you know, this is a scrappy Red Oak team that always plays good defense. You know what you're going to get out of them. But where do you feel your guys' successes were able to come offensively tonight? Um, we read their defense very well, and we were able to hit in their holes. So they had their zone six open quite a bit, so that's where everybody was swinging at zone six. And then once they adjusted and covered zone six, we swung the other side. So I think that was the biggest difference in our game tonight compared to the last time we played Red Oak. Less than two weeks ago, they beat you guys on your home floor. Uh, what, if anything, did you guys take away from that match that you were able to use in your favor tonight? Um, we focused on keeping the ball in play. Last time we played them, we made a lot, a lot of errors. Um, and tonight, we just didn't. We kept the ball in play, and we were able to find their holes a lot quicker than we did last time. This is a program that's been on the rise the last couple of years. You know, and Red Oak's been a program that's kind of been, I'm sure, the program that you guys have looked up to and wanted to emulate. So to do this here, what does that say about what you guys have been able to build? It says that we have been working hard and it's paying off. And our court sense and our, like, the girls are just so smart. Like, such smart, stop, smart players. And it's just really paying off. It's great. Van Meter, Wednesday night. Uh, just what are the general thoughts on what you guys need to do? I know it's a matchup maybe you're not super familiar with. Right. Um, we looked into their record a little bit, which is similar to ours, but also that's hard to say because we don't play any of the same teams. So we'll have to look into them a little bit more, hopefully get some film. Um, but we're just going to do our thing, play good defense, uh, be ready for anything, and we're going to swing hard.